Isometric View. In this video, we will learn how to construct an isometric view using orthographic projections. This is our fifth video on the topic. These are the orthographic projection of the object. To construct the isometric view or 3D view of the object, we first need to create the isometric axis. To do this, take a ruler and draw a horizontal line. Then, mark a center point on this line. Next, take a protractor and mark 30 degrees on both sides of the center point, as well as 90 degrees. Draw lines passing through these points from the center point. The line passing through the 30 degree mark will be the X axis, the line passing through the 90 degree mark will be the Y axis, and the remaining line will be the Z axis. With these three isometric axes in place, we can now construct the isometric view of the object. Next, we need to decide whether to draw the front view in the XY plane or the YZ plane. It's important to remember that the front view should only be drawn in these two planes, and never in the XZ plane. The top view of the object is always drawn in the XZ plane, so that's another key point to keep in mind. Since we will be using the first angle method to solve all the problems, the top figure will be the front view of the object, while the bottom figure will be the top view of the object. Remembering these important points will help us accurately construct the isometric view of the object. We will draw the front view of the object in the XY plane, as this will make more edges visible. Let's start by creating the top view of the object, which is always placed on the XZ plane. To do this, we'll first sketch the outline of the object. Based on the given orthographic projections, we can figure out that the object's total length is 75 mm, and its width is 38 mm. Now we can draw the outline of the top view in the XZ plane. To accomplish this, use a drafter to construct a rectangle with dimensions of 75 mm by 38 mm as shown. This will serve as a reference. From the edge, we can observe that this specific portion is located 11 mm away. Thus, mark a point 11 mm from the edge. Then, draw a line measuring 16 mm in length. Furthermore, we can note that these points are also positioned 11 mm away from the corners. As a result, mark points 11 mm from these corners as well. Finally, connect these marked points to complete the outline. The provided outline is the desired final representation of the top view. In the front view, the thickness of the base is specified as 12 mm. To enhance the thickness of the base, draw vertical lines measuring 12 mm from each corner point. Then, connect the endpoints of these lines to complete the base. This represents our final base. Darken the visible portion of the base for clarity. Next, we can see we need to draw these two features on the top view. Upon careful observation, we can identify that one of them is an extruded portion, while the other is a slot. Let's proceed with constructing the features. First, we will create the square extruded portion with sides measuring 22 mm. Since this portion is positioned exactly in the middle, Use a drafter to draw light lines that are 8 mm away from each side. This represents the outline of this portion. Moving on, we can see this extruded portion as a height of 15 mm. Therefore, Draw vertical lines of 15 mm from each corner point of this square. Connect the endpoints of these vertical lines to construct the square. This gives us the desired appearance. Finally, remove the invisible lines to complete the drawing. To complete the drawing, we will add the slot. The slot is positioned 8 mm away from the extruded part and has a length of 16 mm. 
Using a drafter, we can take the endpoints of this 16 mm edge as a reference and draw a line parallel to the x-axis that measures 22 mm and is located 8 mm away from the extruded part. Similarly, using the other endpoint of this 16 mm edge as a reference, we can draw another line of 22 mm in length. This will give both longer sides of the slot. Finally, connect the endpoints of these lines to complete the rectangle, which represents the outline of the slot. However, we can see that the slot extends through the entire thickness of the base, indicated by the dotted lines in the front view. This means the slot has a depth of 12 mm. Using a drafter, draw a vertical line that is 12 mm long from the reference point, representing the depth of the slot. Then, construct the details of the slot as shown. This completes the drawing of the slot. After this, do the dimensioning of the figure. This is the final isometric view of the object. I hope this tutorial helped to understand how to construct the isometric view of an object from its orthographic projections. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. And if you're new to my channel ADTW Learn, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with all my latest videos.